Is this IEM from Indonesia? Superb. Hello and thank you for clicking on this video where I'll be sharing my experience on another company entering the IEM market from Indonesia. This is the 7th Acoustic Supernova. Talk about having an epic name for their first IEM. This is a 6BA setup coming in at about $750, but you could only order these via their Facebook website, which I'll leave links in the description down below, or through Elise Audio and they can get quite scarce. Before we begin, I'd like to thank Damien once again from the Australian Head Fight Tour for arranging this tour and allowing me to be a part of it so I can bring you my experience on the 7th Acoustic Supernova. Not to be confused with 7 Hertz, so many 7s in audio brand names. Anyway, if you've been enjoying my content and liked the video and a sub to the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. Now with that all the way, let's talk unboxing. Because we don't get to have a lot of unboxing experiences on these tours, so it's great to share when we do have one. It comes in this beautiful box and opening the box, you'll be greeted by the warranty card, the IEMs themselves. Opening the top layer will reveal the case, which is the typical twisting metal case, but it doesn't squeak as much and it still looks really sleek with that black finish. It also comes with three sets of generic ear tips and a set of final ear tips, which like the Divinus ear tips are really premium ear tips with its own design and feel. Opening the case will reveal the cable terminating in 4.4 millimeter and this cable feels really solid. It's woven really tightly, it has a bronze look to its design and the ear hooks and termination have a polished finish with a silver and gold. All in all, very nice cable. For the design of the IEMs themselves, they have this Aurora-like color scheme with the blues and the greens. I'm sure there's a term for this but it's just not coming to mind at the time of this recording. It's just gorgeous to see. I also like how they have a dedicated logo for the Supernova name instead of just putting in the letters. Overall, it's simple yet eye-catching in all the right ways and I like it a lot. For fit and comfort, this IEM is on the slimmer side in terms of its side profile, but it's got some chonkiness in its depth. However, it has enough grooves and contours that as an overall, it makes for a very comfortable fit, at least for my ears personally. No pressure points, it just sits in my ears and I can listen for hours, no problem. Now let's talk about the sound and just putting up a graph in case you want to pause and process this before listening to my subjective take on it. Two hours later. Okay, now that you've processed it, let's explore. For bass, the Supernova is definitely not one for bass hits. The bass notes are weighty and full, but there's not a lot of slam and impact. It's enforcing the whole BA bass character, and there's also not a lot coming from the deep end. Do I wish I had more? Yeah, but then again, I already got plenty of IEMs that brings out the deep end. I mean, I've got my fat freaks, so I'm good if and when I need bass. And what they do here for the seventh acoustic supernova, as with any other IEMs that has these kind of bass presentations, it paves the way for other frequencies to come through. So let's talk about mid range. Vocals are the star of the show. Notes are full, weighty, they don't get overwhelmed by the background music, and the reduction of bass helps make the vocal stand out. It's a lush and warm presentation. For an IAM coming in at this price point, if you love your vocals, it's the Supernova. I think the mid-range and treble is where the Supernova shines. Speaking of which, for the treble, if you've looked through the internet on impressions of this IEM, you've probably come across the word smooth a lot. Well, that's because this IEM is indeed smooth. I don't get any harshness or sibilance in any way. There's still openness to its sound. It still sounds clear. There's some air given to instruments. Trumpets still retain that clarity, but it is missing a little bit of that sharpness in its attack, but you're still getting a good amount of treble. Female vocals work wonders with this IEM. All the highs, but none of the peers. Sweet, sweet treble. For technicalities, imaging is good on the Supernova. Sounds going on the left and right field are easily discernible. The details are there, but of course it's not the sharpest details in an IEM, but there's enough separation in the sound and with the reduction of the lower frequencies, these details are easily heard within the track. You've got the vocals in the center and the background music surrounding the singer. Soundstage has some width and depth, but the sound isn't too close to you, nor is it too recessed. So to sum it all up, it's a very smooth but safe sounding IEM. They'll cater to people preferring vocals to be the highlight of the presentation. It does a lot of things right, but it's still safe. I wish future iterations have something that makes it easily recognizable, like Supernova Bass or Supernova Treble or something along those lines. But for its first release, it is enough to make itself known and I look forward to see what 7th Acoustic will bring in their future releases. But for now, vocal lovers, 
here is the supernova. However, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Are you enticed by this IAM or do you think there's one similar or better than the seventh acoustic supernova? Comment below, let me know and with that all said, thank you again to Damien from the Australian Head Fight Tour, Seven Acoustics and most importantly to all of you for watching. Until the next experience, take care and happy listening.